this video, we will discuss three Philippine national artists, Brasil Mojares, Fernando Marsala, and Juan Nakpil. We will tackle their biographies, art analysis, styles and techniques, and their contributions to the field of art. Let's get started! Brasil Barreto Mojares was born on September 4, 1943, in the midst of the Second World War in Palanca, Zamboanga del Norte. Mojares is a historian and a literary critic. He is based in Cebu and has been recognized as one of the top 100 Cebuano personalities by the Freeman, Cebu's longest-running newspaper. Mojares has a master's degree in literature at the University of San Carlos and a PhD in literature at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. The artist made the literature The War Against the Americans based on Filipino history specifically the American occupation in the city of Cebu. It is a beautifully made artwork for Russell invites us, the readers, to deeply understand what it is to be political within the richer lands of the Cebuanos. What makes this artwork different from the others is that it tackles Philippine culture and politics. Additionally, the book brings together a large mass of original data not only on battles and skirmishes, but also on topics such as the finances of the resistance, collaboration and factionalism among Cebuanos, brigandage, and the background and motives of the personalities involved in the events. The author, Russell Maharas, created this literary work to uncover the beauty of our country's heritage and history. To attain this, the author builds a theory of culture and politics, thus it also allows the readers to attain a better perception in the foundation of our country, the Philippines. The national artist, Russell Mujeres, utilizes literature to write history in an active manner of recovery and invention, not just a retelling or recalling of past events. Mujeres' compositions or literary works are available to his readers and the public. Russell Mujeres' literary works are centered on Philippine literature, culture, and history. Additionally, his books are a medium for political and societal criticisms of our nation, the Philippines. His literary works covered topics ranging from the American occupation of Cebu to the lives of the political elite, all while exploring and uncovering the place of the Filipinos in past and present times. Mojares is the founding director of the Cebuano Studies Center, which is an important research institution which placed Cebu in the research and documentation map. He pioneered Cebuano and national identity formation. He has been a recipient of six Philippine National Book Awards, including the Philippine National Artist Award for Literature in 2018, calling him the Visayan Tyson of Letters. His books include The War Against the Americans, Resistance and Collaboration in Cebu Province, Boites, Family and Firm in the Philippines, House of Memory, Essays, and Vicente Soto, The Maverick Senator. As a leading figure in cultural and literary history, he networked actively in many organizations. For over 50 years, Maharas has published in diverse forms which include fiction, essay, journalism, scholarly articles, and books across a wide range of discipline. May it be literature, history, biography, cultural studies, and others. To date, he has 17 published books and edited, co-edited, and co-authored 11 books, and written numerous articles for popular scholarly publications. Fernando Amorsolo y Cueto was a portraitist and landscape painter. He was born in Cali Heron in Paco, Manila on May 20, 1892 and is best remembered for Philippine countryside paintings incorporating figures working in the fields. He also created portraits and World War II paintings. When Amor Solo was 13 years old, his father passed away. He and his family moved to the home of his mother's cousin, artist Don Fabian de la Rosa in Manila. 
He began to study and began to sell his drawings. In 1909, he began studies at the Liceo de Manila and graduated from University of the Philippines in 1914. He then attended the Academia de San Fernando in Madrid. Painter Diego Velasquez was an influence on his work at this time in his career. During World War II, Amor Solo painted in Manila. The style of his work changed at this frame from a brighter palette focusing on landscape paintings to a more serious somber style that often featured wartime scenes, self-portraits, and scenes that included Japanese occupation soldiers. Planting Rice The painting is an oil-on-canvas composition that portrays something other than its form. It exhibits the contemporary life of the Filipino farmers in 1951. Behind the workers is a farmer with carabao plows. In the background is a cluster of nipa huts along the thick accumulation of trees and weeds. The central grouping of lush trees and hills provides an idyllic setting for the workers besides a mountain view or background. The painting basically captures the traditional Filipino occupation of the farm life of men and women on a hot sunny day. It depicts how enduring they are and how the farmers work together. Amor Solo is best known for his illuminated landscapes which often portray traditional Filipino customs, culture, fiestas and occupations. He used natural light in his paintings and developed the backlighting technique Chiaroscoro, which became his artistic trademark and his greatest contribution to Philippine painting. In a typical Amor Solo painting, figures are outlined against a characteristic glow and intense light on one part of the canvas highlights nearby details. Philippine sunlight was a constant feature of Amor Solo's work. He is believed to have painted only one rainy day scene. Amor Solo is deemed as one of the greatest wartime painters. He was also appointed as the director of the College of Fine Arts of the University of the Philippines, where he served this post until 1950. He has also exhibited the magnificence of Philippines outside the country in Belgium, New York, and Paris. Amor Solo has won over 11 awards throughout 1908 to 1972. He is the first Philippine national artist in painting and was labeled as the grand old man of Philippine art. Amor Solo has painted over 10,000 paintings and of which he owed his fame largely to his portraits. His works in oils include portraits of Philippine presidents and leaders including Emilio Aguinaldo and General Douglas. MacArthur. Juan Philippine Nagpil E. De Jesus was a civil engineer and an architect. Nagpil was born on May 26, 1899 in Capo, Manila, Philippines. When Juan Nagpil was on the second year of his course in civil engineering at the University of Philippines, he took the bold decision to go to the United States for his studies despite the disapproval of his family. Nagpil studied civil engineering at the University of Kansas with assistance from his uncle, Dr. Aniston Bautista Lin. There, he obtained his degree in civil engineering in 1922. However, he was not content and with uncle's encouragement, he decided to pursue his true passion, traveling to France to study architecture at the Front of Blue School of Fine Arts. Nagpil studied with the noted architects Curlew and Lelou. He returned to the United States with a Joseph Evelyn Fellowship to Harvard University where he got his master's degree in architecture in 1926. One of Juan Napkill's notable but demolished project is the Capitol Theater. The Capitol Theater was built in 1935 and renovated after the Second World War. It was one of Manila's modern theaters with a capacity of 1,000 and 100 people. The Capitol Theater was designed of Parisian industrial and geometric quality, hence was labeled as an art deco. It resembled a ziggurat tower and was decorated with geometrically woven real work and has relieved culture 
by Francisco Monti. The sculpture were two women in Barotsaya, one held a theater mask and other carried a lyre. Juan Napkiel spoke of a Philippine architecture that was attuned to the climatic and seismological conditions and the environment of the nation. His designing principles were primarily based on the structure of Philippine houses and indigenous materials. Napkiel has created in time a diverse catalog of structures, showing influences of French Beaux Arts, Arts Deco, and international modern style. A master of designing, Napkil was able to merge and create a distinctly Filipino style with the different mediums he handled. Moreover, intermingled tradition and culture in his projects. Napkil founded the Philippine Architect Society, now labeled as the Philippine Institute of Architects. It is the oldest architectural society in Asia. Nagpil has contributed through his body of work a style of architecture that has elevated the standards of architecture in the country. His major works are Jeronimo de los Reyes Building, Magsasay Building, Rizal Theater, Capital Theater, University of the Philippines Administration and University Library, Manila Hockey Club, Philippine Village Hotel, and many more. He also reconstructed the Capo Church and Rizal House. He was named Architect of the Year in 1939, 1940, and 1946, and Most Outstanding Professional in Architecture in 1951 by the Philippine Association of Board Examiners. Nakpil was bestowed the Gold Medal of Merit by the Institute of Architects in 1950, and the Presidential Medal of Merit by President Ramon Magsaysay. In 1973, Juan Akpil was awarded as the Philippine National Artist for Architecture, the first in the category. Let us honor our national artists, those in the past and present, for their impact on the creative spirit of the Philippines. Thank you for listening!